Well, I totally forgot to tell you what I was doing today. I'm in the car. We just got done over the ringling, but this is the intro. Hello from Sarasota. So Sarasota has the museum called John and Mabel Ringling Museum. Um, it's their house. They actually uh, invented or founded the whole circus thing that we all knew and loved way back when. Um, it is $25 for just the museum part. To go into the house, it's an additional $10, so $35. I paid $25. They do honor military teachers and first responders. And they also have a student discount as well. Um, but all of that, it was, I highly recommend coming here. Um, explore Florida. Florida is not just about the theme parks. It's about other things as well. But if you are new here, hello, hi, and welcome. We are Echo Travel Ventures. We are a travel channel. We do a lot of different things. Mostly was in Florida because we lived here, but we have branched out. We moved to Omaha. So we, um, we're starting to do things there, but I'm still stuck here in Florida doing things for work. Um, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, don't forget to like and comment, and let me know if you've been here before. It would be kind of interesting to see. Enjoy the video, guys. Just walking into the Tibbles Learning Center, and this is what you get hit with this big, big painting. It's huge. So, walking in, it says, Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the one and only Howard Bro Circus. Wow. A big old train over here they have some of the docks oh wow over here they have like the animals it's crazy so basically this whole thing matched out what happens from the train station which is over on this side and what it does when it gets over here and how it becomes like the big old part of the circus it's pretty crazy so it's a big operation it starts at 3 a.m. when the first trains arrive wow now on this side they actually have the tents open we can see what would be taking place like this place would be like acrobatics over there was like the animal training and different things these tents were huge. I haven't been to a circus since I was like a kid. And then you end over here by the train station again as they load and pack up everything to go to the next city. I would never have thought it would be this massive of an operation. So the next room that you walk into, it's a little chilly in here because it is cold outside. You get hit with two big wagons. One with like a band on it, and this one would be just like the motor. Wow, pretty impressive. Well, heck, I don't even know which way to go. You either go right or you go left. They have a lot of different things in the middle. Over here, they have like different like clown. Wow. Kind of reminds you of the movie. Um, the movie, uh, The Greatest Showman. I did, I did see Barnum on there, which is pretty cool. They have different things that you guys can do to learn how to tight rope and all that kind of stuff right here. Then you walk over here and you can actually see the ringmasters. They have a couple of them, like the famous ones. Wow, look at that costume. You got a tiger. 
and you get shot from a cannon. They do have the AC high in here pretty good. I mean, it's, it's, you can feel it. Oh, look, little elephant. It's pretty impressive, the different costumes and, and everything else. So we had the Ringling and Barnum and Bailey ticket wagon. It's pretty nifty, actually. Well, and then the interior room over here just has a couple different things as well. But we're going to go into all these different little wagons. Oh, it's going to be cool. Train animal show. Look at these wagons. Wow. You know what's so funny? Think about all the different like cars growing up, how all the different things they had. Have you ever seen these? And then you have a music box. Like we used to get them as like not like a joke. But like you just like oh okay whatever but these things actually existed. And then right here they have like the different woodworking that they would have. Oh, the craftsmanship was simply amazing. Then we get to look at the Wisconsin rail car. Which I know right now you don't see much, but look. It's right through the, the lines. You can see what it looked like. And here it is. It's the Wisconsin. A little boarding room. You can smell the uh, the old mistiness of it. Did everything help the train car with you? When I was in Iraq, during my second tour, we actually had a chapel in a train. We called it the Soul Train. You get it? Oh wow, here's the bathroom. No, it's just a sink. Maybe the toilet was right here. And then it looks like a little galley. Okay, so on the other side, we have like a little living area. There's the other side of it. It's pretty cool. And then you have like a dining area. And it looks like a bunk bed. It looks like this is a bed too. Wow. Oh, I had a toilet right there. And then a bath. And as you get down, you're hit with the different wagon wheels, train wheels, another wagon, the posters that they would use. I mean, look at that. They had the bearded lady, the bird girl. Wow. And they had a truck with a cannon. It's pretty cool. As you leave, there is a food truck. Let's see what it has. We're about to go down to their house. They have um, hamburgers, 
sandwich, hot dogs, and grilled cheese. All right, so we're about to go into the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art. Uh, supposedly they have some originals in here and everything else. Uh, it was pretty cool to see what they had to offer. Alright, so we're headed over to the mansion. Uh, we're walking that way. Um, it was pretty cool. They actually had some stuff from like the Renaissance. They got stuff from other things that are like lost art in a sense. Because when I was in Rome, uh, when Amber and I were in Rome, we saw a lot of the statues and everything else that they had the fig leaf or the, uh, the olive leaf or whatever over the uh, the private areas um, these statues and and paintings and stuff like that didn't have none of that so I wonder if it they were originals that came over here and weren't damaged by the Catholic Church I don't know but it was pretty cool to see it is kind of drizzly still but we'll see what happens when we head that way towards the museum and now we're entering Mabel's Ringling Bill Ringling's Rose Garden. It was completed in 1913. And over there they have like little mazes through the banyan trees and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, obviously you can't climb them, but why would you? It's just amazing to kind of go through it. Now, they do have statues every once in a while. Kind of like this, but they also have ones of angels. or I want to say babies, but angels. It's kind of, kind of cool to see it. And here it is, the Rose Garden. Wow. I wonder if this is actually original, if they've done things to change a little bit about it. Probably on a more better day, this would probably be packed with kids. They do have a little play area, just to kind of give the kids a break, because, I mean, let's be honest, going to a couple of museums is kind of stuffy a little bit for kids. So a good way to kind of get rid of that energy that's being built up. There are a lot of different places where you can go see some of the gardens. Like they have a rose garden and they have a secret garden, uh, Mabel Ringling. Um, really loved having gardens around. Um, but this is just a surreal place. I'm about to go into that house. So we're out to the circus museum, so you're walking through. They have banyan trees and, and all that kind of stuff on the side. But look at this. You have the gulf or the bay area, and then you have the house that they lived in. Simply amazing. Oh, look. They have Sphinx on either side. Oh, that's cool. All right. So we're going to continue forward. But look at this house. It's very European-esque, especially being down here. I mean, it's kind of like a Spanish type feel, even though the Spanish influence is all in a lot of the architecture that we have here in Florida. But, this is just amazing. I haven't been inside yet. Now, pictures I've seen from TikTok. Wow. It's going to be impressive, guys. Can't wait for you and I both to see it. So, they have like a little fountain-type pool here. It's a very Roman feeling. 
That's really cool. I think they have either Julius or Augustus Caesar over here. But look at this house. Look at this. Look at this. walk out you get hit with the plaza it's starting to rain a little bit but look at this come out and you get hit with that view too bad it's not sunny supposedly in one of these areas that he used to have a boat and the boat would sit out here as well but look at this big old plaza Wow. And it overlooks. So that is not a sunny day. It would be amazing to look out here. And you're west facing. So when the sun goes down and you get to see the sunset, oh, that would be simply breathtaking. And then here's the back side of the house. <laughs> 